some people think that grammar is so important that uh, you know every time we English learners make mistakes in grammar, well, it has to be corrected instantly. And unfortunately, some English learners, well, they mind about it. So somehow, you know, those things break their heart. And yeah, some English learners they mind about it. So how do we English learners deal with it? Deal with this problem? Well, here's my personal opinion. You know, I have been teaching English since 2003 until now, so I know what you know, you guys have to go through and I have to go through before finally deciding to give us a try, a try to speak in English in front of people. So sometimes it's not just about your English skill, your grammar, your vocabularies, your everything. Sometimes it's also about someone's mentality. So uh, as long as I understand what my students say in English when speaking, I am not going to correct the mistakes that they make in grammar. But if the mistakes in grammar they make, you know, uh, causes me to like have difficulties, a lot of difficulties to understand them, then I'm going to correct the mistakes in their the grammar. Yeah, I know, and we all agree that grammar is important, but sometimes to some people, um, self-confidence is way more important than grammar when it comes to speaking. So we as English teachers or someone who know, uh, who knows about English, well, we have to know when to correct them and when not to correct them. Okay, so if you're struggling with all of those comments on your grammar uh, or you have to deal with all of those grammar cops <laughs> who are always ready uh, to say, sir, you are under arrest, <laughs> then, uh, you know, sometimes we just got to take it easy. Uh, I am pretty sure that they mean no offense to you. So, yeah, they might be right. So, uh, you might want to, you know, study about grammar better. And at the same time, you also have to, you know, keep practicing your English. And that's it. That's how we should deal with that thing. <laughs>